Shut up. Welcome back. So we're just going to finish up some of the detailing on the red panda habitat today. And then I think we're going to move on to the Japanese macaques. So I think they'll fit in really well on this little Asian sector that I'm building here. Um, just some, some outside details and stuff on the... Um, viewing gallery that I want to finish up today. I think everything else in here is done. And the pandas seem quite happy. Quite happy indeed. Alright. I was just working on covering up some of these weird spots with some rock work. There's another one on the other side here we're gonna take care of. Might put some foliage in around here too. Painting out some of the uh, long grass too because that doesn't look so good with the rocks on top of it. All right let's see. That seems a little bit Big. It seems a little square. Is that the one I just had? No, it's not. Mm. Looks a little too obviously the same. Let's see. Better. This one's kind of big. And I think it'll still work. Yeah, there we go. That's taken care of. I think I might just leave this here. But I do want to see... No, that'll take all of that out, won't it? We're stuck with this, unless... Maybe? to reconnect all of that in a second. Let's see what we can finagle over here.
It didn't really fix it. In fact, I think it might have made it worse. Back up. Yeah, it's fine. Not really ideal, but it's fine. Alrighty, let's see. Do I want a foundation on the outside here? I don't think so. I was curious about this. There's something I want to check real quick. I know red pandas are endangered. <laughs> it's funny, it says they're excellent climbers and good swimmers, but they apparently don't swim in the game. Yeah, that's what I thought. Deforestation. So, what I want to do is there's some empty space here. So what I want to do I'm keeping you up. Yeah, I already got him. He's just being a butt. Sorry, dear. <laughs> Asia. I am, what was it? Taiga and Temperate, I think. There's these broken trees and stumps and stuff. And so I kind of want to do like a little, almost like a deforestation kind of example exhibit thing. Because if I'm not mistaken, there's a thing on deforestation in the education. If I place an education board here ish. Let's see how this looks. No power, of course. Um, let's take a look at what the power grid actually looks like. Yeah, there's a big chunk missing here. You know what? I'm not planning on putting anything else in this space. I'm just gonna move this. There we go. Now it is powered. Can't really see that, so I guess it's gonna have to go on the other side of the fence. I can sit like that. Can you line it up better? So now the idea Rid of this long grass. We're gonna paint in some dirt and stuff here too. All right, let's see. We got some broken trees. Of 
and a whole bunch of these stumps. here and then I think we have one more here See what some of these look like. a few of these Maybe some fallen trees. One over here. Let's move it over here. Rotate it this way so it doesn't look like the same tree. going where are you going all right down you go and right there This one down to yeah move it over here and then I'm gonna come down here any educational the speakers is just species right yeah 
yeah. Never mind. A little talk point, that might be cool. Put that here. I need to hire an educator because I don't have any of those. Educator. And we're going to assign you Asia Sector. So I think this habitat is in that work zone. Yes. But we do need to put that in. There we go. Red Panda. What? I have a broken facility. Oh no, vending machine again. Okay, we also need to turn all of these off. I'm just gonna delete them actually because. I'll add more in. When I decide what's going in there. Okay, got another one here. And we got another one here. Nobody comes up here. Although that might be just because I took them out. This, this, pause while I figure out what else is going on. Now that's broken down. This is also for red pandas, so we'll delete that. And there's the other speaker. All right, well that's taken care of. Had a really nice little exhibit for them, but Oh, right, they're coolers. Mm. Mm. Two, three, four. I think that's all I had in there. Move these over here. that into the ground mostly. We still want to be able to find it, but I do want it mostly hidden. Yep. And you. And you go. And that should cover pretty much the entire habitat. This we can move. Right there. Alright, let's check the heat map real quick. And I have these set not too low, but just low enough. Quarantine ready to leave. What do I have in here? Oh, right! I forgot about that. So my original pair of African lions passed away, but they had a male... offspring that I kept and I just got him a couple of lionesses 
because he's lonely. He's a lonely kitty. He does not like being by himself. He won't be by himself for much longer. And um, they're actually, they're pretty decent genetics and they're white lions. So we'll see what happens there. Alrighty. So heat map. Oh yeah, that's nice and cool now. Although they might want one on indoors as well. We're just going to duplicate this and pop it right in center here. Perfect. That should cover the entire indoors. Whoop, 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 whoop. Alrighty. Time for some animal maintenance real quick, I think. Animals. By source. Uh, poison. Dart frogs again. I have got to figure something out there. Alright, here we go. Firebird Park. You need to go. You need to go. You are already gone. You need to go. Maybe? No. No. Yes. Oh, animal maintenance is becoming difficult. You're still in the trade center. Okay. Okay. Now let's see what we have here. Uh, Vita. We're already inbred, I think. Well, out into the wild. Hello. How are you this evening? You off. Okay. Nice round 50. You. Ugh. That's why you're still there. I'm actually um, going to start on a Japanese macaque um, habitat. As I just finished my... I just finished moving, actually, my red pandas from this little box out to this lovely habitat here. And I've got Bengal tigers over here, so I'm going to probably over in this direction add uh, Japanese, or snow monkeys rather, Japanese macaques. So that is next on the agenda. I'm just doing some uh, light animal maintenance at the moment. Cleaning up, as it were. <laughs> yep. I'm thinking about maybe doing another round building and doing like a primate house kind of thing. Maybe do an indoor exhibit. Is all of my um, habitat so far outdoors? So, well, the red pandas are kind of a hybrid indoor outdoor. Oh, and they're sleeping. Hello. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, oh, the babies. Oh, the babies are so cute. 
Oh, I love red pandas. Alright, let's see. That is taken care of. Yes, I know. Thank you very much. Hello. How are you tonight, Risa? <laughs> How's it going, guys? Ooh, I think we need some lights on this path. I am getting so sidetracked. So sidetracked. Um, this zoo, I've been working on it, oh gosh, um, a couple of months on and off, sort of. I don't get a lot of opportunity to play, um, so a lot of it has been kind of in 30 minute, um, you know, stints here and there. I get on when I can and I work on it a little bit, and it's not, it's not really big. <laughs> It's not, it's not huge. Um, I started cause I used to play Zoo Tycoon way back in the day. So I was doing these like box habitats, trying to get things as efficient as possible. And I was trying a few things and it wasn't really working. And then like this lion habitat here is actually a, a blueprint that, that came with the, like the, the game as like a, here, put this down if you're feeling lazy kind of thing. Which I was, but I actually built this cave um, viewing point myself. So that was kind of my practice. And then the lemur habitat I threw in there as well. That was a blueprint. And then as we were branching off here, I've been trying to experiment with making my own stuff. So... And that's been fairly recent, so that's where we are right now. Let's see, what was I doing? Lanterns. So sidetracked. Yeah, you really can. The, uh... The, the building system is actually really powerful. It's kind of crazy. Um, East Asia. I need lights. I need lights. That's something I didn't... Because I built this during the day, so I didn't think about lighting it. I also didn't put a sign up. I think I meant to do that. Oh, geez, it's so dark in here. No, let's see. Oh, that's not powered. Alrighty, let's see. What other sorts of lights can we put in here? Classic wall lamp. Mm. Path lights. That's not what I wanted to do. That actually doesn't look too bad. I think I'm going to use those. Oh, stupid roof. I don't actually have any of the DLC yet. Keyword yet. 
Because the thing is, my favorite animal of all time is Clouded Leopard. And those just came out in DLC. So, <laughs> and I'm sure Jax knows that I will probably be buying that DLC at some point. I think that looks pretty good. We might... They're kind of sticking up a little bit. Might sink them. One, two, three, four. Okay, and down. Oh, that so weird. Oh well. Good enough, I guess. Yeah, I actually, um, because the, the Southeast Asia pack doesn't actually have any um, construction, right? And it looked like the aquatic pack had some really, really, really interesting looking pieces. I'll probably end up with all of them at some point. It's just a matter of when I feel like it's worth it to spend money on it and what goes on sale. Yeah, I don't think I want to light this up too much because the moonlight's actually really pretty coming in through the, the roof. Yeah. Okay. That's going to be good for now. All right. Now that's lit, I'll put the sign up at some point later. I don't really want to get on this snow monkeys exhibit. Bring this out. Yep. What is that? Something weird popping up. Um, <laughs> where do we want to put this? Here is probably fine. All right, let's see. Mm -mm. I don't think I want to use the dry stone again. Again, we might just go with the stone brick. Although if I use the dry stone, it'll match. It's everything else here has the dry stone. Let's see. That's a weird seam. What if we did stone brick? What if we did limestone in between? 
I really like the way that looked on the other one. It's hard to see what it looks like right now, though, with the being nighttime and all. That looks good. That looks good. Yeah, I like the way, I like how clean it looks and it's got a really nice texture to it. I think I might want a glass panel, but I learned my lesson last time and we're not going to use the uh, modern glass. That caused me no end of trouble last time. Maybe something glass house. How well? How well does the? It doesn't really go through the opaque. Thank you for the follow. Daytime every time you've tuned in. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, more types of glass would be nice. Because, like, some of these are really nice, but I, I, I feel lacking. Nope. That's just a basic one, I think. Risa, how is D&D? &D? You said you had D&D &D last night, right? There we go. They actually, um, they have an aquatic, um, animals, or like an aquatic pack DLC that you can download that's got like, um, seals and otters and penguins and stuff. Roof. Glass roof. Oh no, banish to the astral plane. That's that's awful. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Meter. That's the one I think I want. I'm going to reduce the grid. Cried, did you? That's probably not going to look good. Let's try this. Astral plane, that's rough. It's rough though. On grid. Mm -hmm. Do 
did that happen like at the end of the session or towards the beginning of the session? Do you guys have a plan for getting them back? I like these pieces. Oh, well, yeah, that'll that'll do it. <laughs> that'll kind of do it. Here we go. And I want another one right up here. doesn't quite come through all the way. Maybe it's not centered. Although it might be centered, it might just not be long enough. No, nope, it's just not long enough. Made you go to a party after? <laughs> While you were still in mourning? Well, that's a little big. Murder mystery. Ooh. That's exciting. Yeah, Risa always seems like she has so much fun when she talks about D&D nights. Trying to decide if we need some color in here. And if so, what kind? Probably red. Just not sure. Oh, you know what? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. We put this on the bottom of the red panda, so I think I think it's fitting we put it at the bottom here too. That's good. That's good. I'm glad. d and a lot of fun. I wish I had more time for it. Alrighty. I think... I think that's the template for our... It's going to be pretty big, but that's what I want. I 
that lined up. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm actually with the filters, I need glass. Black glass roof. Where is it? Grids off. And of course, it's not going to fit nicely. Let's try this again. I guess that's the best we can do. Well, thanks for stopping by, Risa. I appreciate it. I <laughs> think caught a legendary fish. That's great. Well, thank you guys so much for stopping by. Sorry I started late tonight. Rain was uh, having some trouble going to sleep. But I really appreciate you coming by and saying hello. Alrighty. And here we find a slight issue with it not lining up. That's good enough, I think. Oh yeah. dome on this one looks a lot better than the last one, I think. The last one got funky at the top. Though I don't think I'm going to be doing any more big dome buildings like this. This is my last one. While they look nice, I feel like too many is well too many.
think that's plenty of space for the uh, monkeys. Should be anyway. Nope. There we go. Almost there. See if it lines up nicely or if I have to do some fiddling with it. Nope, we're gonna have to do some fiddling. Well, let's see how bad it looks. Pretty bad. But with this, we can just kind of line up the frames on the panes, which is the issue that I had with the other one where you use the modern glass because it doesn't have panes to overlap. It looks really bad. Almost there. Should be the last one that we need to move. Yep, the rest of them can stay put. And there we are. Very nice. Alrighty, now then. There we go. Now, if we move this, there we are. Back it up a little bit. Okie dokie. Very nice. Very, very nice. Oh yeah, that should be plenty of space. So, what we're gonna do... I'm gonna bring the path... out across here. All right, and I like these. We want four meters. That is going to be tone walls. Brick, not breeze block. Concrete, dry stone. You know what? There we go. I need archway. That out. 
would be nice if I could arch that, but I don't think that's going to... Although, Betcha, Plank, Angle snap back on. There's the four meter one. That's what I wanted. Can I? No. I cannot. You know what? We'll put a sign there. We'll put a sign there that'll cover up that theme. And then it won't look so bad. Okay. So now, what we need to do... Our path back. Um, we're going to go a little bit bigger. Seven meters, too big. Do six. About here. I don't want to encroach on their space too much. And then bring this back down to four meters. I'm going to line it up from outside. Perfect. Although, I think what we actually want is the horizontal path. Before we go any farther with this, though, I know we have some round glass walls. Just need to know if they're going to fit. Nope, they are not. Not really. Well, in that case, then, can we do line to grid? We'll just do that. Back in here.
And I know I probably don't actually need to be using walls. I'm sure there's glass panels I could be using instead. And probably should be just because of that. Because that doesn't fit so well. Alright, let's see. Just glass in general, what do we have? Lots of glass roofing. Here. One and a half, that's tiny. Some big ones in here though, aren't there? 12 by 12. That's a bit excessive. Yeah, that's not a little bit big, but a four by four, four by two, 12 by six. Cause that's six. 12, that's 12 meters wide, but it's 8 meters deep. Because I used the 4x4 four four grid. That's the smallest you can go with the pathing. Let me see. Got to stop doing that. Well, we can use it here, although well, it's too long actually for that. Alright, let's turn angle so line to surface off. We do this. Keep doing that. Actually, what if we... Four by two, twelve by six. Two meters, six meters, six meters, two meters. Where are these? Four by four, four by two, two by two, two by one, one by one, one by one half. Two meters, four meters, six meter triangles. Triangles would be cool but really difficult to work with and requires a lot more planning than I put into this. That's not the one I was messing with before. There it is. Alrighty. Angle snap on. Flip it up. Bring it down. And across. Mm. Let's do bed roof. Popped right on out of it again. Now 
Now that should be lined up. I don't think it actually is. Yeah, it's not. So four by four, do we have, yes. We're going to line this up here. Best we can. Angle snap on. Pull it up. And there we are. Pull it back out a bit. There we go. All right, what else do we have here to work with? Four by two, two by one, one by one. Perfect. Alrighty, I didn't want to have to do this tonight, but I will be right back.
Alrighty, I am back. Sorry about that, guys. Oh. Babies. Less than cooperative this evening. All right, so this should line up near perfectly here. Near enough not to matter. Okay. So, let's see. Okay, and another one over here. And we're gonna pull that, I think, nope, this way. It goes off just a hair, but I don't think I care that much. Just ever so slightly. And then perfect. Now I need to select them. And then this should be perfectly aligned. Well, it's perfectly aligned to the path. Not so much here. Move this in just a little bit. There we go. Now. You guys over here. And you're 
that way a bit. Nope. Okay. We're gonna have to Yeah, if we base it off of that angle. There we go. And it looks like there's going to be a little strip of grass. It's okay. This should line up. I keep saying that and then it doesn't. I'm not entirely sure why. There we go. Now that is the viewing platform. Which also needs a roof. Dum, 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 dum. I think I am going to use the modern roof for glass roof. Yeah, because those are fairly. Do a flat roof. I would make it look too much like a box. I feel. There we go. There's the. There's the gabled pieces. Double pitch, one meter. Let's see how that looks. The angle snap off. Two meter might be where it's at. Plus I have this nifty grid, which should help me line it up. Best I can. Not bad. Okay. Now.
need corners. Need a corner. One. Two. Three. Four. And now guess another one of these. really are the pain of my existence. Let's go with try the one meter. I think that'll be easier to work with. That's the two meter, right? Yeah. One meter. Double pitch corner. What if... So then, how... Surely there's a gable to go in there. I just have to find it, right? Okay. I think what I do want is the two meter, the double pitch. One, two, three, four. No. All right, good size. Oh, come on, come on. There we go. Nope. Is 
Is this where the inverted corner comes in? Turn that back up. I'm having a really hard time seeing things here. I need to turn this down to two meters. All right, what am I, what exactly am I trying to do here? Is that the two meter? Yeah, that's the two meter. I'll put your corner. What if we did that, brought this all the way over, now we have three of those. I don't think there's a pleasant way to fill this in, so I'm just... And to throw a gable in here and call it a day. Besides which, it's not really going to matter from inside. Right? No, it's not. Still be able to see the monkeys just fine. Alrighty. Now, indoor habitat, the viewing deck. And that actually works out really well with the roof coming through, I think. Add some supports or something. We need a little pole of some sort. Hold on. What is this thing that I was using? I feel like this will work perfectly right here. Right there. And then the other one. Right over here. Very nice. Yeah, that looks good, I think. What if we were to... This is going to be pretty delicate work, I think.
does it not go all the way through? No, I don't think it does. That's okay. hide some of these awkward seams. And adds quite a nice bit of interest and texture as well. I can just make sure I grab the right arrows. There we go. Grab one wrong arrow and you throw the whole thing off. There we go. All right, this is going pretty well, I think. Well, I missed the seam by a long shot there. <laughs> there we go. And, oh right, these are the big seams, that's why. A lot to cover up. A good thing this pole is just big enough. And if I'm not entirely mistaken, a lot of the benefit of doing habitats this way is no barriers to degrade. There we go. And there. Degrading barriers is something that I have had a huge problem with, but I will not have that problem with the red pandas anymore. Because uh, their barriers are all natural. And I don't think I will be having that problem with the snow monkeys either because their barriers are all construction items. Now what I'm going to do here Come on. There we go.
Nope. Okay. Such delicate work. Let's see. Here we go. Now you. Here, that again. We have to readjust it anyway. But at least the height is the same. A little farther over to the left. Nope, never mind. All right, let's make sure that looks good. That looks good. Hello. How are you this evening? I'm sorry I did not see you come in. I was a little preoccupied. <laughs> I'm doing all right. Doing okay. We're doing a snow monkey exhibit or habitat today. Well, starting on it anyway. Oh, 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 let me show you. The uh, the red panda habitat turned out really good. Okay, the key. Let me turn the light off so you can see because the moonlight actually looks really pretty. This is the viewing gallery. And then this is where they sleep and where they play. And look, they're all sleeping. I finally got them moved in. They're all curled up. They've got a little pond here that they can drink out of. And then they've got like a oh, climbing frame on a tree. And then this is what their actual habitat looks like. Right? I would too. Oh my gosh. And I've got cherry trees. And I put a little like water gate. Ah, oh, it came out so good. I'm so proud of it. Like, it looks so cool. And then, like, red pandas are primarily endangered from. Uh, deforestation so in between like this little empty space i have here like a little like this is what deforestation looks like and it's horrible and there's a like an education board on deforestation i thought that was kind of cool why had all these broken trees and i don't know i was inspired i thought it was something neat to do like in between the exhibit and i had already used a couple of the broken trees here on this side So, but yeah, that's that. And now we're working on snow monkeys. And you know what? I should probably actually go and get some. Let's see. Do 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 do. Japanese macaque. Oh, 
yep, there's not a lot on the market right now. I should probably go ahead and they're older too. I should have checked this earlier. Ooh, terrible longevity. Terrible. Terrible. That one's not too bad. He's also 12 years old already. Terrible. My goodness. These monkeys do not look good. Let's check. Let me see. Oh, they need to be in, like, cold weather. We'll have to keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. 8 to 50. I'm going to need a lot. I'm going to need a lot of these. Patriarchal group with a single alpha male. Confident with humans, so they shouldn't have any problem with the them building them. Um, 30 years life expectancy, sexual sterility at 20 years. Okay, yeah. I might have to just come back tomorrow and see what we have. Or come back at the end of the night because these all expire in 30 minutes. Well, those will expire in like, that one expires in 20. Because these are all, well, 20 years, right? So this one wouldn't be too bad except that the Genetics are really terrible. And like half their life is gone at that point. Sexual maturity of four years, yeah. Alrighty. We'll check back later and see if there are anybody better options on the market. I'm not going to have this ready them just yet anyway so this is what I'm working on now this is an indoor habitat so this is where the guests will walk in and they can see the monkeys and I'll probably put some climbing frames up over the uh, up over the glass and then this is the actual habitat itself And again, that moonlight coming in on through that glass window. Really cool. Really cool. So that's what I was working on when you came in, as I was putting these pillars down to hide the really unsightly glass seams. Let me get that. Get back in there. Get back in there. There we go. There. Yeah, no, they don't. See? They don't. Can you see them? You can't see them. They don't exist. You missed Risa. She was here a little while ago. Okay, we need a sign. I need a sign on the red panda exhibit, too. Sign, sign. Mm. Mm. Nope. Nope. Oh, goodness. Nope. Have snow. We do. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's exactly what's going in here. How about that? I 
out of the few animals that we have, like there isn't even a Bengal tiger one of these, but there is a red panda and the snow monkey. Nope. Uh, not ideal. No. What about this one? No, it's still really small. No, I don't like it. Not a scroll. Nope. Um, hmm, running out of options. Oh, that's cool. Signpost. What about this one? No. No. Square sign, <laughs> beach bubble, find support. No, no. Well, dang, I was kind of hoping to be able to cover this seam up without covering the arch, but it's looking like that's not going to be possible. Although here's what we can do. That doesn't look so bad now, does it? Although now it looks really small. It is really small. I don't even know. Let me see. Stop. Stop it. Nope. Mm, nope. Mm, nope. Can we... Is there... Can I make this bigger? No, I can't. That looks better. Oh my great. What did I use over here? Mm, well, that one's too big.
build. There we go. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Perfect. All right. Yeah, see, look, now there's only one. Refresh the list. Oh, there we go. This is the youngest one there is. Still half. Yeah. Well, let's go ahead and adopt it. It's not like I need, like I'm short on cash or anything. Didn't I just... Yeah, I did. Refresh the list. Refresh the list. Already adopted this one. Do I have two of them now? No, I don't. All right, let's start on this by getting rid of all of the long grass, because no animal in this entire game likes a large amount of long grass. Monkeys! I'm curious, Zeri, what is your favorite animal? I love the music in this game. I love the music in this game. It gets stuck in my head. Fox. <laughs> Foxes are cool. Apparently the uh, red panda is colloquially known as the firefox. Did you know that? Mm -hmm. Also, did we tell you that basically everything, um, well, not everything, but almost everything that we've bought rain has had foxes on it? We like foxes. Foxes are cool. <laughs> yeah, she has like little fox rattles and... Fox bibs and fox shirts, fox pants. And owls too, because that kind of goes with it. If I had, I didn't actually decorate her room the nursery because well it's just not stuff that's necessary but if we had it would have been like a woodland animal theme there foxes are amazing I love foxes so much Okay, let's see. 
could probably... Yeah. Bunger. Oh, I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. I forgot that you started playing um, Bug Snacks. Should we hang these from the ceiling? Do you think? I think I might. Do 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 do. I mean, I've heard some good things. I don't know if it's necessarily a game for me, but I've heard some good, some really good things about it. Also, the voice cast is stellar. Like, that is a star-studded cast, if I have ever seen one. Alrighty. No, let me in. There's the button. Nine point eight out of ten. Yeah, like I said, it's everything I've heard about it has been very positive, even from people who didn't didn't think they were gonna like it. that roughly even? Close enough, I think. Do we really need two of these? What do you think? Is two too many? I mean, it's a pretty small space. <laughs> yeah, actually, this is probably not the best idea. Let's see. I think I need this piece. Oh my goodness, roofs! The roof strikes again. All right. I don't think we need two. I think I'm just going to do one. This lined up. And then... Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Up we go. And in fact, I should probably actually put this in the middle if we're just going to do one. Here we go. Here we go. Good enough. There we go. He hello. Thank you. Now we need this. Oh. I forgot a thing. 
There we go. There we are. Ta-da! Now we need a donation box. <laughs> really interesting. That's what I've heard. It gets really interesting at the end. is in here. Facilities, that's what I wanted. Ooh, yes! I think I'm actually going to put some snow in here. We need to angle... Nope. Angle this... Hello? There we are. Line it up there. And another one here. And... Trash bin. Get that angled right. There, I think that looks pretty good. No, it looks pretty bare right now, but I think once the habitat is actually filled out, it will look much better. All right, let's put a little variation in here. Ooh. That's very strong. Let's turn that down. There we go. Just to make things a little more interesting, I'm going to do this before I mess with any of the pathing or the barriers, because this was what screwed me over last time. There we go. I think that's good enough for now. They're going to need some water too, though, aren't they? So, where should we put the water, do you think? Well, let's first take a look and see if any of this is covered. And of course it's not. And actually, the red panda... No, the red panda exhibit is covered. It's okay, we can put... We can put water treatment over here. Mm -hmm. Right next to this power plant. A uh, solar thing. Oh no, absolutely! If I do play it, I will absolutely 100% let you know. Can I move this over here? Yes, maybe. Bring the grid size down. is going on with this circle? Uh, 
Like, the farther it gets away... Yeah. You know what I can do, though? If I put it out here... I mean, the thing is, it's noisy. Let's try this again. Put it out here. That's what I was afraid of. Now. This is going to be real quick. And a little of this. It looks really silly. <laughs> and it doesn't seem to be doing the job. Yeah. There we go. Mostly. Does it actually reach through? It does not reach through. So it hits that wall, but... Okay, there we go. See, facilities have, like, a negative area. And so the more you dress up a facility, the less impact it'll actually have on the guests. Because guests don't like hearing or seeing the facilities. So, now that that's taken care of, we have all of this space now to put a water hole. It has to be on the back end. About right here. Do -do -do. Because you can give them a water trough, but I don't know. I just, I don't really like that. I want them to have, like, actual water. I think that might be too steep. It's not as fancy. Okay, let's try again. Ooh. How about that? Oh, 
point. How about that? All right, let's check the animal trading again. Ooh, looky, looky. That's a lot of credits, and I only have 1,400. What do you think, Zeri? Should I go for it? I mean, I need a male, and look, he's only four years old. So he's going to live a good long time in my zoo. And he's, his genes are amazing. He is BB. He's gold, uh, gold medal too. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. What about you? Not great. Not great. Well, what are we looking at here? Eju on a compare meets. Well, fooey. Let's refresh the list. Yeah. Sure. I need a lot of these, though. They live in groups of, like, eight. So I need, I need a lot. Hopefully this is a big enough enclosure for them. Oh, longevity is terrible on this one. Lots of monkey. Yep, lots of monkey. Now this one's got subpar fertility, but I can work with that. And the small size, which... I don't personally care about. I'm gonna go for it. That gives me... This is a new one. I don't like the longevity on these. Alright, that gives me two males and two females. And I need... oh, hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You still not... my goodness. Nobody wants this lion? Take my lion, please. You know what? Go away. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, real quick, I want to show you this. So I don't think you were here. Where? There is my. What? Oh, go off. Where are they? There they are! Look at these! We have white lions. So I had a pair, a male and female pair of African lions, and they got old. And they passed away. Oh, lions swim. That's interesting. Um, but they had babies, and I kept one of the male babies, because all they had were male babies. Well, no, they might have had a couple of females, but I had already traded them out. But he was lonely. He needed some friends. 
So I bought him a couple of white female lions. And here he is. He's sleeping in his cave. So yeah, I've got two female white lions. So we'll see what happens. Also, <laughs> my, my male lion's name, these are auto-generated. Um, his name is Rafiki. <laughs> Uh, I had a, um, I think it was an ostrich. An ostrich, maybe? Yeah, named uh, Simba. Oh, pandas grew up. Panda bears grew up. They don't look grown up. Oh, yeah, they do. Never mind. Look at they so cute. Oh, he's rubbing on his rubbing post. Thank you. I'm very proud of this. I am very proud of my red panda habitat. I finished it yesterday. You're supposed to have matured. What happened? It says adult. It also looks really small. Female, male. Well, as long as the two of you don't mate, I think we should be fine. <laughs> I think I think the problem is that it's a f that that she's a female. I think she's just tiny. Oh, they're wandering out. Oh, they're so cute. They are so cute. They are so freaking adorable. And it's nice and quiet out here, so they're not bothered by anybody, and they can't see anybody in the glass, because it's one-way glass. Oh, he's going to go climbing. Look at him standing. <laughs> I love red pandas. I love them so much. I love them so much. Look at, look at, look at, look at. Ah. <laughs> So stinking adorable. Oh my goodness. Too cute. Too cute. The only problem is this may be a danger. I may have to move this and I don't want to, but I might have to move this because apparently they can climb these trees and um it's uh it's kind of close to the barrier. So I don't know if they can jump that. Let me see. Yeah, see? This might end up being a problem. It doesn't say it's a problem, but it might be a problem. We'll have to see. <laughs> I really don't want to move it though, because it looks so nice there. In fact, he's walking right over here, or she, she's walking right over here. She's going to climb this tree. She's going to climb this tree. She's going to climb this tree and go the other way, of course. Of course she's going the other way. Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, I need... Where are you? Where are you? Do excuse me. I am trying 
to get a look at my panda sitting in a cherry tree. Now where are you going? You coming back down? Okay. That's the branch you climb on. You don't climb on the other branch. Yeah, that's right. Oh, the funny thing is... Is I was looking at it, and it keeps telling me that this is an escape hazard? But that's the... That's the keeper door. Like, I... I genuinely don't think that they can climb out through here. But, uh, seems to think that they can. Ugh. And yet this is not apparently a danger. So. Anyway. Oh, they tore that box up. <laughs> They tore that box to pieces. Can you you can climb that? Okay. Y'all can just climb everything, can't you? Well, Yep, and you hear their little footsteps on the wood? <laughs> oh my goodness. Too cute. Okie dokie. Unfortunately, it is 11 o'clock. So, I'm going to have to cut it short here. I have to go and get my husband up. We need to get our daughter up and get her fed so that she can go back to bed. Um, but we made some good progress tonight. This is going to be the Japanese macaque habitat. We'll get this finished up at some other point. And I don't know when that's going to be. I might stream again before Wednesday. We have raid on Monday. <laughs> Um, I don't know what we're doing tomorrow, but at the very least, I'll probably be back on Wednesday to finish up this habitat. And then I have to decide what to do next. Let me shovel check. Let me check this again before I hop off. Do, 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 do. Nine years. So that's the best you can do for me. This one's not too bad. But yeah, thank you guys for stopping by. I really appreciate it. And I will catch you guys later. Bye!